Welcome to Blackburn Radio's Behind the News. I'm your host, Robin Brady. I'm the morning news anchor and senior news editor here at CKSY. Every week I'm going to be taking you on a little behind-the-scenes tour of the goings-on in the newsroom. We'll be meeting some of the staff, talking to reporters who've been out in the field covering the big stories. Every week I'll give you a background on some of the stories we've covered, the big news happening in Chatham-Kent, as well as letting you know some of the stories that we'll be working on in the weeks ahead. Today we're going to take you on the first tour of the newsroom here at Blackburn Radio Chatham, meeting some of the staff, and just because it's new, we're also going to have you uh, take a sneak peek at the new studio, hopefully. So we're here now in the Blackburn Radio newsroom in Chatham, a bustling hub of the radio station. Really the hardest working room that you will find here if you come at any point. Just ask any of us and we'll tell you. I'm joined by Trevor Thompson, who is one of our main reporters here. We don't really have beat reporters in at the radio station, but just sort of as assignments come, they're handed out to our pool of reporters. But Trev does, for the most case, cover the, say, yeah. the municipal council meetings uh, and uh, Trev you were at this week's meeting and uh, a pretty lengthy meeting with a lot of heavy issues discussed. It was a really long one. Uh, four hours long. They only got to three three items. Uh, the three big ones obviously the Ursuline sisters. Mm -hmm. uh, over the past 146 years they hadn't big tax on their mother house the, uh, on Grand Avenue before. They built a new one out on McNaughton and they got a tax bill. So in 2006, they got a tax bill. They paid it, trying to work it out with MCAP, trying to work it out with the province, with the municipality. Uh, wasn't getting anywhere. 2006, 2007, 8, 9, taxes, taxes, taxes. So finally, they went before council last night to try and get this all squared away, taken care of. And it just turned out to be just a bureaucratic mistake. So with just a couple little scratches of the pen, they took care of it. They're not getting those taxes back. They said, that's fine, we're just going to move on. And so, yeah, they had a, a huge show of support out there last night. Council was packed. You rarely see it that full. Now, one of the other big draws was uh, the CAW members coming to, to ask for help for the Navistar plan. Yeah, the Navistar thing, and they marched from the CAW Hall in Merritt out to, uh, out to City Hall, out to the Civic Center, down King Street. And again, huge show of support. 150 people marched down, and they packed the council chambers again all the way out the hallway upstairs. And uh, they're just looking for help from the municipal government. They're getting nowhere with the company. They're getting nowhere with the provincial and federal governments. So they're looking to the municipality to to just kind of champion their cause, to uh, to speak to the municipal, to speak to the provincial and federal leaders, to speak to the company, and just try to get back to the bargaining table there. And the uh, council was very receptive. Uh, the mayor said that he's going to try and meet with uh, his other counterparts in the federal and provincial government. And uh, they're going to update us every 60 and then 90 days just to see what's going on where they are at. Great. Awesome. Well, thanks, Trev. Here we are, Katie. You are the morning show co-host on the CK Mornings Show. How you doing, Katie? I'm good. I'm good. In the brand new studio, as you can see, it's very different than our old school, old studio. I like to call our board here the Space Age board. <laughs> we had the uh, old board for about 23 years or so. So, see all the buttons? Mm -hmm. Many, many buttons that we could get wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do, what does all this do? Uh, well, each of these pots, is what we call these, is in charge of uh, something on our media touch system. So if you see here, this white one is playing right now. This Chris Allen, Live Like We're Dying, it's on the white pot, is playing. The Freak File's getting ready to go in the blue and the green, and it corresponds with uh, each one of these pots. Robin, when I turn your mic on in your booth, it's this, this pot here. Mine is right here. This shows us all the different levels, and this is about where we should be if it gets up too high in the red no good it sounds bad and we're getting ready for the freak file great lots of good stuff to uh look forward to and loving the new studio not quite sure about the chair we're supposed to stand <laughs> but they gave us a chair as an alternative so haven't decided which one i'm going to go with yet i think it's going to be to each his own chris will be a stander i'll probably be a sitter we still can't see you over there in your booth <laughs> so nothing much has changed there but yeah let me show you my booth yeah over top I of the sit over there. Screens, yeah. So this is where Katie and Chris sit. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I am. Yeah, <laughs> no good, no good. Anyway, well thanks for showing us the new studio. You're welcome. Hopefully you've enjoyed the little behind-the-scenes peek at the goings-on of the newsroom here at Blackburn Radio Chatham. Join us next week for more on Behind the News. I'm Robin Brady.